Angel, Sears, and Dollar hope the two slow mows can push her to the breaking point. That smile of Mrs. Dollar will go to tears and back again many times. It's almost race time now. Even the press, used to the classics of every sport, tenses expectantly. Not much to say now, not much to do. A few last-minute precautions, and it's into the boats. A final word to the pit crews, and they're off for the warm-ups and the starting line. No time to worry now if such crust day-old engine is broken in. Miss Great Lakes. Slow-mo four. Descending champ, the slow-mo five. And the roaring hurricane. Clearly visible a mile and a half away, the 10-foot pie face of the starting clock starts the last 60 seconds. Under the bridge, around the north turn buoys, the flying hydros roar toward the starting line. This is the big time. You can win the race at the start or lose it if you're a second early and have to run an extra lap. 12 seconds is going to be tight. 120 miles an hour, it's easy to guess wrong. The race is on. Slow Mo 5 is over the line, a nose ahead of Miss Pepsi and Miss Great Lake. The pre run dope that Lou Fagel and the Five would do just that is panning out. Pepsi and the Five are out to run each other off the water. In the first five laps, find each of them averaging over 100 miles an hour. Pepsi gains on the sweeping turns. Slow Mo 4 and Hurricane stay close behind. Slow Mo 5 picks up on the straightaway, hopping 150 miles an hour. have this tooth and nail battle is the greatest speedboat race in history. The lead's the thing with the big one. It takes more speed to fight up through the wake of the leader and battle his rooster tail spray. Even at speeds over a hundred, steering these mahogany giants is much like handling a racing car. But here the big problem is staying with the boat. End swapping is the big hazard on the turns. Turning a circle at these speeds could be fatal. Only four boats left now as they swing into the rough north turn. Warning rockets leap as a roar and flash mark the exploding such crust. A tense moment as the speeding hydroplane swerves crazily, hurling Wild Bill Cantrell a flame into the water. Ten seconds and a Coast Guard rescuer grabs him. Four minutes and he's ashore and safe. The Slow Mo 5 and Miss Great Lakes, Such Crust and the Pepsi. They're all dead in the water now from the unrelenting pressure and pounding, the murderous pace of the wildest gold cup of them all. Just the Slow Mo 4 and the Hurricane left. Miraculously fitted with the dead Slow Mo 5's propeller between heats. After throwing her own in the first heat, the slow motion four is still the one to beat. Hard into the third heat, Hurricane Four trails by a rooster tail. Then comes whirling up for her challenge. Faster, faster. Dollar and Weissel wind them up like watch springs, and the hurricane hits her peak lap of the heat. heard clear across the course. The proud bloom of the rooster tail is gone as the hurricane's mightiest challenge twists and snaps her drive shaft. Hurricane four, dead in the infield. The ruggedest race in history has been too much for five of the boats to take. When steel gears shatter and propellers shear, drive shafts twist and blocks crack, the wonder is that men can bear the strain that metals can. There's no cheering yet. The atmosphere's grown tense. No one speaks, but the questions are there. Can the old lady do it? Can the slow-mo four last out the heat? 
Or did the hurricane push her to the limit as the slow mo five pushed Pepsi? She's round the last turn. She's got the checkered flag. She's done it again. She's a grand old lady, the slow motion four. And her second gold cup is a victory well shared with her youthful driver, Stanley Dollar. And it's shared in true traditional form by a wet Mike Welch and his pit crew that did the impossible in the greatest test of drivers and mechanics, hulls, engines, fuels, and lubricants yet devised. Three times in a row now has owner Sayers had a Gold Cup winner, but this is the big one. It's a big one, too, for all of us who go down to the seas and the lakes and the rivers and all kinds of boats. For the rooster tail and the wake of the family cruiser have a lot in common. The advances in hull and engine design, maybe the shape of a new propeller, the development and testing of fuels and lubricants that come out of races like the Gold Cup means more pleasure on the water for us all. It's a nice thought to have with us, cruising along, 